happy 3rd of December, happy 3rd day of Vlogmas! How are you all today? I hope that everyone is doing well and enjoying so far. I am, I know that much. Um, yes, I am in my dressing gown because I am recording a lot earlier this morning and that is because my partner will be getting up shortly. He's got to get up early because he wanted to make some pulled pork for tea tonight. So he's got to get up very early, put or well, fire up the barbecue and um, yeah, put the pork on for a long slow cook and then we can have it for tea tonight, which is going to be great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this now because otherwise it's going to be chaos. He's going to be running in and out outside and it's just going to be noise central. So perfect opportunity really. Right, we are going to start with the wonderful Siobhan. Uh, so Siobhan's Crafts. Here is the calendar, the lovely bag that we got on day one. I'm going to put that to a side. I'm not sure it helps having a blanket on my lap, but it is quite chilly. Right, so we've got day one, two, uh, three. Here it is. Right, are we ready? Let's go. I am also very tired today. Um, so again, you have to just have to bear with me, I'm afraid. Right, are we ready? I've got it. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's something else in there. Hang on, let me put it down. There we go. Right, here is this one. That is beautiful, isn't it? It's um, a lot subtler than the other two, but it's just got these lovely, um, almost pastely vibrant colours, if that can be a thing. Like this one's quite vibrant, but then there's a couple of almost pastel -y colours. That's beautiful. We also have, <laughs> that's adorable, <laughs> the cutest little unicorn stitch marker. In fact, that's perfect with that colour, colour isn't it? There we go. That'll focus eventually. That's perfect. She's captured that perfectly. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> oh, and yes, another of my favourite clasps. As I've said before, I love these clasps. They are just so much more versatile. That's adorable. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hold all the colors up together. I'm gonna try not to get them mixed up. There we go. So those are they. They are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I think they're so good. Right, let's see if we can put them back in the right doors. There's number one, number two, Number three, that stitch marker is just adorable. I can't stop looking at it. I've got to be careful as well because it looks like these two are trying to escape. Um, right, that was Siobhan's. Now on to advent calendar number two, which is the Woolly Mama one. So again, they're really vibrantly bright advent. Ooh, let's just pop that up there. There we go. Okie dokie. I'm opening it. I'm opening it down here again because everything will just fall out otherwise. So, a quick reminder on what we had. So, day one was this lovely, almost Parma Violet one. Day two was this beautiful, beautiful, I suppose that's like a teal, is it? Oh, it's just beautiful. I love this one. Okay, and day three. There you go. I'm going to try not to spoil it for myself this time. Oh, no, I've ripped the bag again. <laughs> not looking. Right, okay. We're ready. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, totally not what I was expecting, but oh, look at this. Uh, Cassie does a lot of colourways like this. Um, and every time I see them, I just really want them. That is beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. Right, I'm going to hold them together. So, day one is here, and day three here. They are lovely, aren't they? Do you know what? Those would actually work really well with the um, shawl that I really wanted to make. Uh, was it the Snowy Pines wrap? I think they actually would work really, really well with it. So once I'm done with the wrap that I'm working on, spoiler warning, I have cast on a shawl. Um, yeah, once I've finished working on that one, I can perhaps cast this one on and do the snowy pine wrap with this, these colours because they're beautiful. 
Right, I'm just going to close that up. Don't worry, I'm going to show you all the ones I got today together. Right, the next calendar is this one, which is the lovely I Dream of a Journey by The Canny Yarns. Um, just quickly as well, I know I keep forgetting to tell you what they are. Siobhan's is a... Oh, if you have a Google, my apologies, but bear with me. Hey Google, turn Christmas tree on. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I couldn't remember when the timer was set. Um, so the timer, all the lights are set to go off at half seven. <laughs> there we go. I couldn't remember when it was, but at least I know now. Right, um, yes, I haven't been telling you the calendar. So Siobhan's Crafts is a 10 gram, 24, 10 gram minis. I've got a 100 gram skein to open at the end. They are on sock base and they are fingering weight. The same with the Molly Mama Advent. They are 24, 20 gram, sorry, 20 gram minis. Um, one 100 gram skein. They are on fingering weight and they are sock base. Uh, it's the Cami Yarns. I'm going to open this up because I know I haven't said what this base is on. It's a Cami Yarn. What calendar did I get? Um, <laughs> doesn't say it does it does it say on here no um i i believe i either got 100 percent merino or um sock base they're definitely fingering weight um but i can't remember if it's sock or 100 percent merino i've got a feeling it's sock that's generally what i go for but my apologies for not you know <laughs> explaining the bases and such. I'm, I get too excited, that's my problem. Right, let's scoot that out of the way because we're having issues here. So, my apologies. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? <laughs> right, so the Zakami Yarn Advent Calendar. We are currently in Scotland. So this is the postcard for inspiration. Um, day one, um, you will notice, but day one, I'm, I'm not, not got a lot left. Um, but it is wound up and it is currently in use which is extremely exciting and day two was this colour so if I hold those together one and two okay and now we're on day three so exciting so here's day three um here we go oh this one's got a little bit of something sealing it and try and jump out isn't it <laughs> all right let me take that off there we go it there apologies top of my forehead right okay so here it is oh wow well. <laughs> okay that is beautiful not what I was expecting at all but that is beautiful let's take that out oh that's so so nice okay so there's day three of Scotland that's amazing so if I hold all three together there we go. My apologies that these are wound up now, but um, such is the nature, I'm afraid. That is gorgeous. <sighs> Look at that colour down there. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Right. Oh my gosh. So I'll get that wound on today. I'm hoping to um, get a bit further on my project, but I'll show you the project later. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm making good headway on it, but I are, I am obviously two days behind now, but that's fine. <laughs> right, now on to the final advent calendar. Here it is. So this is the Toft advent calendar. Now, as I said before, I did try to rearrange all the boxes so that I could get them easily, but I'm not 100% sure if the next one is ready for me. But before I show you that, I will quickly give you a brief recap. Um, day one was, oh dear, day one was a 25 gram ball of violet yarn. Uh, clue one was this lovely little, what we're, what we're assuming is a torso. Um, I, yeah, it looks like a hot water bottle, a sack. Yeah, sure. Day two's little gift was this absolutely beautiful, um, what looks like a, what's the word, centralizer holder with a grandfather clock on one side and the ruler on the other side, which will help us check our gauge. I'm gonna pop that back in there. And day two's clue was very, very similar to yesterday's, uh, day 
wand's clue. So that's what we've got so far. There we go. Right, so let's find box three. Day three. Oh, here we go. Okay. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> Intriguing. Right, so day three is here. It is a small box. So this can't be a this can't be a box of yarn. I thought it might have been a box of yarn, judging from yesterday's clue. So I think this might fall out. So I might have to kind of open it like this. Um, let me shift so that um, you can kind of see it. Right, here we go. Okay, no, I can't open this properly. Okay, right, um, how am I gonna do this? It's a good thing I didn't open it the way I was planning. So there are some beads. Can you, yes, you can just about see them. There's some beads on there. And there's also a wire. Now, one thing I haven't done with Toft yet is beadwork. So, whoop, I've dropped my wire, there it is. <laughs> thing is, it's a clear wire, so, oh, no, that's not it didn't pick anything up there we go it's clear wire so that's going to be quite I'm going to put these back in the box there we go I've never done beadwork with Toft yet so well I haven't done any beadwork in terms of knitting or crochet I'm going to quickly close that box so that nothing else falls out but that is day three so I'm guessing there's beadwork today um yeah that's really interesting so I'm going to check my inbox see what clue three is what we're doing today as I said I've never done beadwork so super excited if that is the case today, which I think it might be because we've got beads. So yeah, that's really exciting, isn't it? Um, right, let's quickly recap on what, what we've got. So day three of Advents. I know I'm missing one. What am I missing? Oh, <laughs> oh wow, well, amazing. Right, so those are the yarns. So Siobhan's is here. Woolly Mamas and the Cami and then the Toft, so the beads. But obviously I can't show you the beads properly, but that's what we got today. So exciting. Oh, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, let's shut that in there. So I have a lot to do, so I am gonna finish here. Obviously not finish the video, there will be more. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish for the moment. I'm gonna wind this bad boy on, it's beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. I'm really excited to get that into my project. Um, but obviously I've got day two to get in there first. Pop that back in here. And yes, right, so instead of dillying, I'm gonna, I've gotta make my flapjacks because I totally didn't do them yesterday. I got far too busy. Um, we've got a bike ride today as well. I think that starts at two. It's another event on Zwift and um, I think you get a jersey for doing it. Um, so I'm very excited about that. It's in different map. It's not a new map, I don't think. It's in France, I think. So I don't know. My partner just said, "Oh, do you fancy doing a forty-plus kilometre ride on Sunday?" I was like, "Yeah, let's go for it." Regretting it now because I am extremely drained. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. But um, I'm up for it. So I've got to do the flapjacks because we usually have a flapjack while we're doing the ride, which is quite helpful actually because it just replenishes gives you a little bit more energy to keep going because that's good um so yeah I've got a couple of things to do this morning as I say partner's getting up soon he's going to be a whirlwind around the house we need to sort the speaks out actually because they are everywhere <laughs> and I also need to relax I've got to get some crochet in and I've got to get some knitting in so when the light comes up because it's still dark at the minute I will start showing you what I've done with my projects basically i've not done a massive amount at the minute but i've probably got about an hour two hours to get some proper work in so yeah i'll check back with you all in a little bit good afternoon everyone a quick afternoon check-in for you all i am dressed and ready to go on my bike it's really cold though so i might have to put my uh, dressing gown on while i finish setting up um yeah super excited for today but I am having an extremely low energy day today, which isn't fun. And I have been rather grumpy, <laughs> to say the least. So, yes, I'm doing my best. Um, but, yeah, I've not actually managed to do a lot in terms of 
knitting or crochet. Um, yeah, I've just been pottering really. I have made the flapjacks, they are to my left. Um, there they are, yeah, woohoo. <laughs> um, just checking that there was nothing on the table, I didn't want you to see it. Oh, good, I'll show you everything that I worked on later, but I did want to quickly show you this. This is the little sausage that I've made. <laughs> He's got a little kink in him, so he's a bit sausage, more sausage-like, and I've given him little eyes and his little hat and his little tail. So hopefully my work colleague will be really pleased with that. So I'm going to go put that in my bag for work now. Um, so that is one task that I needed to do this weekend done, which is great. I'm not tied in any ends. I have completed my Toft Clue 3. Yeah, he's setting up. I need to hurry up. I have finished my Toft Clue 3, but I'll show you after the bike and after I've showered and all of that wonderful stuff. I am on day two, colour-wise, of my shawl, so I'm really excited to show you that as well. But again, I'll show you when I've got the proper camera set up and everything like that. But for now, off we go to the bikes. So I'll speak to you all in a little bit. <laughs> I am back for my final check-in of today. I am very tired now. <laughs> the bike ride went really, really well. I really enjoyed it. It was, um, I think it was Fondo today. So we've got a nice little Christmassy style jersey, which is great with lots of cheese and baguettes on it, which is wonderful. Um, it's, it was a route today that I've never done before. So that was quite interesting with a nice big hill at the end, but we had to do two laps. So we had to do the big hill twice, but, um, yeah, it was fun, it was good. Um, obviously my hair is wet because I have just uh, had my shower and I thought I'd just settle down, I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea and I'm gonna really get stuck into some of my knitting and crochet. But before I did that, I thought I'd just do this check-in and then I can also edit the video and get it out to you today. Um, however, there isn't as much done as I had planned. So yesterday I really wanted to tie in some ends. I know they're so close to being finished. The same with my birds of Christmas. One of them just needs to be sewn up. The other one, I've just got to finish the tail on. But um, none of that happened today, basically. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where the day went. Um, but yeah, that's such is life, isn't it? We, uh, we make all these grandiose plans and they don't always happen. So that is today, I'm afraid. But I do have some stuff to show you. Um, yeah, I do have a bit. In fact, I've done quite a bit on one of the projects, but I'll start with the Toft Advent project. So Clue 3 is done. And uh, just a little reminder, today's Clue, today's Advent from the Toft calendar was in this box, day three. And it was the, I can't really show you too well, but I might be able to, can you see those? Oh, you can just about here. Um, a little fishing wire and some purple glass beads, I think they are. Um, there are some left, that's fine, <laughs> but they have been, and it's my first time working with beads. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. So this is my clue three, and there we go. So we've carried on working on clue two and we've attached these beads around the top. So today there wasn't that much in terms of crochet, it was just one round, um, but it was quite a lot of work in the terms of I've never done bead work before. So we had to get the beads onto the yarn. That was what, what the fishing wire was for. And then learn to crochet with beads. It's quite good fun actually, I really enjoyed it. So it's, uh, it's got a bit of sparkle on it now. Um, so yeah, I'm quite intrigued what tomorrow is gonna bring. Um, I am working tomorrow and my partner has booked the day off. I'm really glad that he's got the day off actually because he worked far too much last week and yesterday. So he's got the day off, which means my recording schedule is gonna be a bit strange tomorrow. So I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. But yes, that is clue three 
done. I'm keeping up with it, it's, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, the chunks, the, uh, the crochet chunks are quite small, so it's really nice. Um, but yeah, that is the Toft Progress that can go back under the tree. Right, now the final thing that I have to show you is the work that I've done on my other advent project. So this is the Trifle Wrap by Helen Stewart. That is the one I've settled on and I decided to use my Zakami advent yarn. So I have managed to complete the first day and I have started day two's yarn. So if I hold this up, it's going to be really difficult to show you while it is at the length it's out because it's not really sitting very well on the needles, but here it is. Oh, it looks nice, doesn't it? So if I can kind of just, you can kind of get that idea my hair is on it my apologies so it's really lovely it's got this lovely spine on these ones that come down this chevron and then this middle section is loads of yarn overs and then part way through each of the colors we have more yarn overs so as you can see I've done color one down here color two I am part way through I'm not halfway through color two yet but I'm part way through um and I decided because I cast on and knit this first section quite far through and then I decided I, I was weighing the yarn as I was going and I thought I think I can get away with doing all the chevrons because initially I thought I'm going to skip one of the chevrons so I was going to take one of these sections out um, which I did and then as I say I got part way through weighed the yarn and thought I'm going to have loads of yarn left so I then Un ripped it all out and started again using Helen Stewart's actual full design so this this is the full um, size that's in the pattern and I weighed the yarn and I thought I think this is going to work so I'm risking it there's a little bit left um, I think there's a couple of grams left maybe three grams I'm not sure um, so I think it's going to work because in the actual pattern Helen Stewart uses 4.5 millimetre needles. She uses fingering weight yarn held together with mohair. I didn't want to hold mohair with mine because I wanted these colours to sing as they are. So I dropped a needle size and I dropped it to 4.5 millimetre. Sorry, I dropped it to a 4 millimetre needle. Let me just double check. Um, I do have them here. Yes, 4 millimetre needles. That's what I'm using. Fingering weight yarn. They are the same... Uh, size needles that I use when I make a Stephen West mystery knit along so I know my gauge is is fairly loose on that but it's not too loose that it's you know unpleasant um and it seems to be working fine as I say I've got a, a few grams left um I didn't want to be left with loads so so far we're looking good that's that's where we're at and so far so good this is obviously the second color so I'll see how well I do on the second color I have weighed it and it seems to be going okay so far so fingers crossed <laughs> I won't be playing yarn chicken too much but we shall see um I'm also going to try and tie in the ends once I'm a bit caught up but I really want to the American football's on tonight and both my team and my partner's team are playing tonight so um I'm going to sit and knit on this and hopefully get a bit more caught up at least on to day threes yarn i i've already wound that up it is ready to go um so yeah i've just got to really crack on and i'm just checking if i missed this no i haven't <laughs> so i've just got to crack on really with that and yeah hopefully um once i'm a bit more caught up with that it's just going to be kind of just as it comes every day really and i really am hoping to get some of the tasks done that i said i was going to do yesterday and the this morning and it just didn't happen but yes anyway that is what happens isn't it it's just you can't predict what's going to happen in a day you can't predict how you're going to feel I'm feeling better now that I've been on my bike um it was a bit tough going for a little bit I did think after the first lap that I wasn't going to be able to do it but I powered through and I did it and I'm glad I did because I do feel better for it but now I have earned sitting on the sofa and knitting so that is what I'm going to do and oh i need to edit my video first <laughs> but yes thank you so so much for watching i'm having an absolute blast um but again my apologies for today i have been extremely drained today it is a low energy day for me so thank you for persevering with me 
and for your understanding and hopefully tomorrow I will be a bit more vibrant and um, I will be able to show you a lot more progress in things but please remember I am working it's a work week next from tomorrow until Friday so hopefully I can get lots done but anywho thank you again so so much for watching it always means the world I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video